Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to another Thrift Star Thursday. The first Thrift Star Thursday of 2020, which is very exciting and I'm so glad you stopped by today. I hope that you guys had a fabulous holiday season with your family and friends. I know that I did and I hope you guys did as well. So as you can see, my lighting is a little different today. That is because the last few days I have been completely lazy bum and have like taken naps. A lot of naps. <laughs> so now it's the middle of the night. I'm wide awake. Um, I could do some work, but I don't really feel like doing some work. And I thought it would be fun to try to get ahead on um, filming a few things. So I'm going to attempt to do my Thrift Store Thursday video right now. I don't know if it's going to work out or not. I'm looking a little ghostly in the viewfinder, but we'll see how it goes. I may have to re-record this later on. But I'm just going to go with it, see what it looks like, and if it's not too terrible, I will share it with you guys. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump right into the haul. I have a few Christmas items, which I will share with you first, and then I'll get on to like regular home decor item stuff. So the first thing that I found was a grab bag. I ended up getting three of these grab bags. They were... Originally $3.99. I think I bought them on sale. I can't remember now. So it was like 25% off. And basically, it is a grab bag filled with these little Christmas candles. They're just battery operated plastic candles. There's four of them in the bag. Let's see. And they look like this. They're so cool. They just have like the little base here. You uh, take off the top and put the, can the batteries in. I think it takes two batteries. And then I love the fact that you have these cute little bases. And it looks like one of those old timey sort of, you know, candle holders, which I love so much. So I thought this was so fun. So this bag has four of them in it and I picked up two other bags. I found one, I found another, and then Joe was with me when I went and picked these up, and she found another bag of them. So now I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of these, which I think is awesome. So yeah, so now each of the girls have one like in their bedroom, and I have one in the bathroom, and I have one sitting in a windowsill. I just think they're so much fun. And I don't know, these are not the same as, um, I may have showed these already, now that I come to think about it. Maybe this is the fifth bag I picked up. I can't remember now. Well, if this is a repeat item, I did find another bag, just like the other ones I did went to. And then I actually went to the thrift store today, which I'm not showing you anything that I found at the thrift store today. That will be next week's. But they had another bag, but I passed them up. I'm like, I don't need, you know, more than... I don't know how many I even have now. If I had 12 before, I'd have 16 now. I don't think I need more than 16 of these. I don't know. Maybe I do. If they're still there next week, I may pick them up. <laughs> uh, that's so silly. Anyways, this next thing I picked up was a little girl. And she is a little Christmas girl. She's actually a bell. She's supposed to be an angel. She was $3.99. And she is absolutely adorable. She's got a cute little dress. And then look at this. She's got a little puppy poking out underneath her dress. And then she's got a little songbook. And she, I just thought she was super duper cute. She was $3.99. I can't remember if I said that. And I can't read the markings on the inside at all. There is like a circle with a C on the inside of it. So yeah, that's all I can tell for the markings. Oh wait, there's another foil marker. So it's Lefton. Oh, okay. So it's definitely got the Lefton sticker in there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not. There it is. The Lefton sticker. Which is super cute. So that makes two Lefton pieces for me this, this Christmas season. Oh, so exciting. I didn't even realize. So anyways, I just thought she was super cute. Her face, like the, her, um, the paint on like her cheeks is sort of coming off a little bit, but I don't care. I think she's just adorable. So of course I had to pick her up. 
All right, so then I have one more Christmas item, and this was $2.99, and it is this little Santa boot with a little Santa on the back. He's, like, climbing into the boot, which I thought was super adorable. <laughs> you see that? I think he's so cute. So I know that I have a few Santa items, but for the most part, I am not one that really collects a lot of Santas. I know I think I picked up maybe two or three this season through thrifting and that's like gives me like maybe five total. For the most part though when it comes to like Santa figures I tend to like the ones that are like the animals dressed up like Santa. Do you know what I mean? Like like little Santa mice if you remember what I'm talking about. I love those and I tend to gravitate towards more of that than actually the traditional Santa figure, which is kind of weird because I don't know why that is. But when I do come across a Santa figure, it really has to draw me in. And this one definitely did. So, of course, I picked him up. I just thought, I, at first I just saw the boot. And I was like, oh, that's a really cool shaped boot. I think that's really cool. So, but then I noticed that Santa was attached to him. And I'm like, oh, that's neat. So, anyways, so I picked this guy up. But yeah, I guess what I'm getting trying to say is that I don't collect a whole lot of Santa things. I don't know why that is. I'd much rather, like, pick up stuff like this that are, you know, Christmas-related but aren't Santas, if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just rambling at this point. All right, let's see what else, what else did I pick up. So that was all that I picked up for Christmas. And now I can show you, like, my regular household things. I found a couple glasses. The first one actually was found by Zoe. And it was originally $149, but she got it for $112 because it was 25% um, off day. And she found this cute little one right here. It's got, like, little lemons on it. Can you see that? It's very cute. And then it's got, like, a stripe around the top here, which is really adorable. There was only one of them, but this was actually supposed to be a two-piece. But there was only one on the shelf. So we didn't get a very good deal there. But she loves this. She saw this and she was like, oh, I have to get this glass. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> so she picked that one up. And then I found a set of glasses. I'm always looking at the glasses and I, and I don't pick up some that I think are really cool. Like last week I think I picked up, I should have picked up a set of ones that had like white embossed. I don't know. Anyways. I'm like just so scattered right today. <laughs> All right, so then, so next up, I found a set of glasses which I saw and fell in love with right away. I ended up picking up, there were six of them, and I got them for $4.12 because of the discount. And they look like this. It's going to be really hard to show you, I think. But there we go, maybe you can see that. It's got like this starburst on the side, which I thought was in red, but now that I got it home, it looks more hot pink, which is fine. And then it's got like this little etching of white in between, and then around the starburst, it's gold. Around the starburst, and then at the top, it's got another like, I don't know, decorative hot pink stuff. I don't know. This is so hard to t show you. Let me see if I can't get it. I just thought these were the coolest thing ever. So there were six of these, and I love this shape also. So, of course, I was just like, oh, my goodness, I need to get these. So, yeah. At first, I thought they were going to be red because I thought they were red. In the store, they looked red. But here at home, they look hot pink, which is fine because I like hot pink, too. But... I would have loved it if it was more red looking, but yeah. Plus, it's got the Starburst on it, and I am obsessed with the Starburst lately. So, can you see that? I keep trying to get it so that you guys can see a better look of it. There's the Starburst. And then can you see the etching on the side? Anyways, maybe I'll put these up as my thumbnail so you can actually see them. <laughs> So anyways, I just thought these were super cool, and like I said, there were six of them, so I am super excited, and they look like they're in really good condition. They're like they're not losing any of their paint or anything like that, so I'm just 
thrilled with these. Absolutely thrilled with these. I think they're so cool. You may remember I um, collect dog figures. So I saw this little guy, a black and white one. Isn't he just adorable? He was originally $4.99, but because of this 25%, he was like three something, three seventy something like that. But I just thought he was super cool. He's pretty tall. He's like my one of my bigger um, dogs that I have found. I just think he's so cute. And then someone did write on the bottom, Murphy's something, starts with a B, Bloom something, 1974. And it's got a little bit of a sticker left on the bottom of it. Just one little corner that is red and gold, which makes me think that maybe he's a left in. But I don't know for sure. I'll have to do some research on him. But I just think he is super adorable. And I love him so much. So, he is so cute. He's got cute little eyes. And his little nose. So cute. <laughs> so, I was super excited. I'm going to use him right away, I think. He will definitely go with my um, decor for the winter time. Because I love to decorate with just black and white for the winter time. So, this will fit in perfectly somewhere. I'm thinking maybe my dining room. Not my dining room, like my living room coffee table or something like that. Like stacked on top of a book or something. I don't really know. But we'll figure it out. <laughs> Alright. So then, let's see. I have one more houseware item here too. I suppose I should share that with you next. It is a red and white plate. It was $2.99, but I got it for $2.24. And it looks like this. It's super cool. I love, you know, transferware. Red and white Red and white transferware. Oh, love it. And this one is, let's say, the English Tableware by Unicorn. Made in Shaffirshire, England. Royal Homes, it says. And it's dishwasher and microwave safe. So it's probably not too very old, but I love it. And I think I've got something like this already. Because it's got the little deer down here. And I know I've got like a bowl with like the little deer that's red and white. So this may be a match. I'll have to get it out and see. I'm not sure if it is or not. But there was only one of them, which was sad. But, of course, I picked this up and I'm so happy to have found it. So I'm so excited about that. And then, of course... I always look at the tarnished silver stuff. And this week I found this little, like, you, I'm assuming you put, like, another glass in it. And it's more like a, like a beer stein or something. I don't really know. Like, you put a glass inside this and it's like a glass holder. See how it's hollow on the bottom? I don't know what they call these things. I don't know. But I thought it was super duper cool. Love the handle. Love the tarnished silver. And what really sold me on it was the fact that it is monogrammed and it says Elmer on it. Which, by the way, is the name of my great grandfather. So I thought that was pretty cool. And yeah, it's just so, such a cute little piece that I am very excited about and love the fact that it's monogrammed and that it actually has like a name that kind of means something to me. So um, I found this for $2.99. It was originally $3.99. But yeah, I just think it's cool. It's got a very cool pattern on it. And then of course the Elmer. So I thought that was an awesome piece to add to my collection of tarnished silver things. It does have like one little, can you see that right there? It's got like a nail hole or something right there. I don't know what that's about, but that's all right. I'll just use the other side. <laughs> Not a problem at all. Um, all right, so next up, I found this little grab bag full of items that I believe to be cast iron. Let me open it up. The bag was $3.99, and yep, they are. There's First off is this little guy right here. He's like a cast iron finial. It has a flat bottom on it. So I'm assuming that you just like set it somewhere. So there's this one. 
And then there is this one. And then finally, ooh, this one is super cool. And then there's this one. So I thought these would be cool to like set up somewhere, maybe on the top of a stack of books or just kind of nestled in among other displays and stuff. So I just thought they were super cool. I love the fact that they are cast iron and they've got like that rustic look to them. So I thought that was super cool. So originally I thought they had like holes in the bottom of them so like you could put them on you know, something for the garden or something. But they are all flat bottom. So I think they're just made to be like decorative. I don't know how old they are or anything. They have no markings on them at all. So I don't know. But I just thought they were super cool. So that was neat. And then I did pick up a few jewelry items as well. Um, you know how I've been picking out Christmas pins? Well, I haven't been able to find any of those lately. But I also have a rhinestone, like clear rhinestone, like jewelry collection. A lot of like necklaces and bracelets and like brooches and that sort of thing. So I found this little one right here. It's just a circle pin with the little rhinestones on it and I thought that was really cute and simple and I really liked the design I got it on sale for $2.99 so that was super duper cute and so excited about that to add that to my collection like this I don't I need to do a little research on like how to know if jewelry is older or if it's just like you know something that is made to look older I really don't know anything about jewelry collecting I normally just look at like the clasp and stuff for like necklaces and bracelets and kind of go off of that, whatever I think looks old. <laughs> so I also picked up a bracelet and I don't know if this is old or not, but I thought it was super cool and you know how much I love my bracelets. I love bracelets. Bracelets are like my thing. <laughs> so I found this one right here. It's got black. Um, cream and red on it. I thought it was super cool. It's just like a metal cuff bracelet that you just kind of open and stick your hand in. It was originally $3.99 so I got it for $2.11. I just think it is super cool. I love it so much. I think it would be cool to like stack with um, some silver beaded bracelets. So yeah, that's probably what I will end up doing. I just thought it was so cool. Very like um, Americana, even though this should be blue, but it's black instead, which I think is kind of cool. So, yeah, I just thought that was super neat, and I loved it, so I picked it up. So I thought that was really fun. All right, so the next thing I picked up was a candle holder. It is meant to hang, but I most likely won't use it for hanging it. But I just saw it, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. It looks like this. It holds four pillar candles in the middle. And, and it's kind of like in this little house shape or terrarium shape or whatever. So I just thought it was super cool. And like I said, here's the little hanger that you can hang it from. But I'll probably end up taking that off because I really don't have anywhere I can hang it. Um, but yeah, but I'll definitely keep this so I can always attach it again if I decide I find a place to hang it. But I think right now it's going to probably end up on like my dining room table or something like that. So I don't know, I just thought this was super cool. It's kind of rustic-y, kind of modern-ish, but at the same time it's kind of got that farmhouse feel, which I like. So I thought that was a super cool piece. And I found it, and I can't remember if I said how much I bought it for. It's like $4.50, so I thought that was a great deal. I have two more things to share with you today, and that will be the end of my haul. The first thing was like this little cornice, or what do you call these things? I cannot think of the name right now shelf bracket maybe I thought it was unique and like this part was cool so I decided to pick it up it was originally $2.99 I think I got it for like $2.24 something like that yeah $2.24 so this will probably be getting a DIY because the color on it is doesn't really work with what I go for here in my home but I absolutely love the shape of it stuff like that so this would be cool to like crackle maybe and then have the uh, undercolor show through. I think that would be really neat. So that might be what I'm doing with that little guy. 
Alright, so the very last thing that I have to share with you is a little wooden trivet, which I fell in love with. Um, it's a nice size, and it's got like little ball, little legs, but look at the top of it. Oh my goodness, it is so adorable. Cute little hand-painted little flowers on it, which when I saw it, of course, I fell in love with, but this reminds me a lot of that hand-painted um, enamelware shifter, which I have used to be having up, hanging up in my, um, what do you call it? window seal over here which I will be replacing that and then like the um, match book holder one of my friends here on the, to the channel sent me that's also enamelware and they both have like little flowers printed on them um, it was blue and red and white so that is what made me think of this thinking oh that's kind of like matches it a little bit so I had to pick this up um, I use cutting boards all the time as trivets right now so this would be kind of fun to just have sitting on the counter um, adding a little splash of color and a little bit of wood tone into my kitchen which is something that I'm always striving to add into my kitchen a little bit of color especially red and like a little bit of the wood tone so this is like perfect so I was super excited to find that so that is what I picked up this week at the thrift store. So let's go ahead and see what my friends have found this week. To get started today, Jeanne found two vintage trays for $1.80. She combined them together to make a tiered tray, which I think is very clever. And she now corrals her hot cocoa and tea items on it. And let's just talk about the trays real quickly. They both look mid-century to me and might possibly be Chromex. They both have the wood handles, and I think this is so cool. I'm obsessed with these trays. She also found this ironstone pitcher for 99 cents, which she puts her straws in. She also found this cookbook stand for 75 cents. She painted it and distressed it, and it is looking oh so beautiful. And she now uses it to corral some of her vintage cookbooks, which I think is a fabulous idea. Kathy was able to find these two glass deers for $1.61 each, and I think they are so adorable. She also found this Santa mug from the 60s or 70s for $0.89, cents and the Ironstone creamer for $2.50. Sandra found some interesting items for 3 euros. It looks like there are two frames, um, some vintage Christmas greenery, a little Santa with like an ornament, um, a little caroler maybe with like a little list there and then in the back left corner two little Santa figurines so adorable and then for five euros it looks like she found three little candle rings a little miniature boot some ornaments a little red ornament there and then some, a couple house ornaments and then a gold star ornament she found this tote bag in a free box, which would be perfect for going to the grocery store with. And she also found these two little bear ornaments also in a free box. Are they not just the cutest little things? Oh my goodness, I love them. And finally, she also found this very unique wood tray, which she has the cute little bear sitting on. So it looks like everyone had a great week at the thrift store. Thank you to everyone who sent in photos. If you would like to submit a photo for next week's thrift store Thursday, check out the description box. All the information you need is there for your reading convenience. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this thrift store Thursday. I'd love to know down in the comments what you found this past week. And if you didn't get to the thrift store, which of the items that I shared today is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments, and I will see you again very soon in my next Thrift Store Thursday. Until then, happy thrifting, and we'll see you soon. Bye now.